What's going on, guys? This is Gigaspace Blob. Welcome back to more Splatoon. Last time we entered this place, Octo Valley, not Octo Canyon. I said it was Octo Canyon last episode. That is Splatoon 2. Octo Valley, and we went to the first level, Octo Trooper Hideout, and we also went over the Splattershot Jr. This time, we're continuing in Octo Valley by going into the next level right here. Something I like to do is tackle the levels in numerical order. Which seems like kind of a weird idea considering when you find them, but this right here is level 3. That other level that we just uncovered was level 2. So we're going to take that. We're going to get that one in the next episode. But for now, we're going to go to this one. Lair of the Octoballs. And right off the bat, we got a new enemy. This is an octopod. It's basically something that can explode on contact with the player. It can be slowed down in your ink if you can... If it walks in your ink, it'll be slowed down, kind of like a player does when they walk in ink that's not their color. They can do quite a bit of damage, which is why you want to take them out first. Anyway, going through our first, our next level, we have another octopod right here. They, um, they look like they, like, explode at one point because they look like bombs. They are walking bombs, but they won't explode unless they are splatted or until they uh, reach contact with the player. Now, in the next part, we got another new enemy, I think. Yep, the octoball. It'll be grad it will be greatly slowed down in your ink, and that's when you'll be able to attack it, because otherwise they'll be really fast and difficult to avoid. And there's some more. Yeah, yeah, you kinda got a glimpse there of how fast they moved when they were in their own ink. There's a squeegee. That is as Captain Cuttlefish is saying, you can't hurt these things. They will gradually drink up your ink. If they're on a wall. And they can also be on the ground. Down there? Is that the sunken scroll? Which is the thing? Yep. That was also the thing that I was saying earlier. Those things that we are collecting are sunken scrolls. They're things that will give you some very interesting Splatoon lore. Which... Splatoon lore and Splatoon canon, as the other one said. About the great Zapfish. But anyway, let's go up into the launch pad. Into the next area of this level. Now we got some squeegees on the floor, not some on the walls. Oh god. Get out. There we go. Good. Squeegees are very annoying things. Especially if they're on walls. Oh, here we need to go up here. And then shoot these. Oh man, this would be good for another type of bomb that we can unlock, but we're probably not going to be able to get that. Yeah, stick to the wall and then use X to climb up faster. And... Boom. Let's slow them down the ink and get them. Let's see if there's anything in there. Nope. Oh, we just got a glimpse of something very good, but we don't get to use it much. We don't get to use it in multiplayer gameplay, and those Octoballs just... Wow. That was stupid. Those Octoballs just went away in a flash, and they're gonna go on away in a flash again. You didn't even get to see them. Okay, give me, give me this. And this launch pad right here will take us to the final checkpoint. I love how it tells you where the final checkpoint is. That's just another great thing. There's an ink cannon. You stay in squid form and then you can hit the shoot button to shoot out ink missiles. And there's some Twentigo Octo Troopers up there. And now they're dead. I do want to make sure I can get there before that squeegee sucks up all the ink. Oh, 
Oh, you. Oh, man, made it. It's easier to climb if you're... Oh, I turned off motion controls because I don't really like them that much in this game. But we did it. That was a pretty fast second level. We Octarians dwell in a world deep underground. The individual caves in which we live are connected by a network of transport devices known as kettles. Wow, you learn something new every day. It makes sense. So, if I hit plus while in Octo Valley, you can see that we can upgrade our we can upgrade our stuff and unlock new types of bombs. If I hit minus, it'll also show you the sunken scrolls that we've collected. But for now, let's head back to Inkopolis and do some splats. But not until we go to the weapons, the weapons shop, and go show a new weapon, or pick up a new weapon and then show it in battle. And here we are here with a minion. I mean Sheldon. He look. He is basically a minion. He looks like a minion. He's like a minion with like a military-like outfit and a helmet. That's basically what Sheldon is. I'm not kidding. Just look. He looks like a minion with a military outfit and a military helmet. And like binocular eyes. That's really what Sheldon is. Hello, hello. Let me guess. You're here for looking. You're looking for some new weapons? Then you come to the right place. Our weapons come in sets. A main weapon on ZR, a sub-weapon on R, and yes, a special weapon. Sound complicated? Well, don't worry. You can always press Y to try out any of my products before buying. You want to make note of that if you're playing along. And if you want more info on sub-weapons and special weapons, just press the home button and read the manual. You're looking fairly fresh. Yes. I think you have what it takes to wield my splatter shot. Go on, give it a try. Ah, the classic splatter shot. It is a modified version of that weapon that was used in the Great Turf Wars of old. When this we when this weapon made a splash with the fresh kids, it helped popularize the turf wars we know today. The full auto splatter shot, burst bombs, and bomb rush make it, and bomb rush special make it a great choice for any situation. He is not lying there. Because this weapon, the splatter shot, is very good. It's a the splatter shot is a well balanced weapon where many people, many new players can nice and simple, quick and easy get to the basics. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, learn to use this set effectively, and you'll be a force to be reckoned with. Like I said, it's good for any instance, and there's also some extra kits for it though that have that have the same stats but have different subs and specials. I'll be explaining them as I. As we get to those, this weapon has three different kits, the standard one and two extra kits that you will unlock later. Two of those kits are very popular, but let's buy and equip this. Alright, but for now, now that we picked up the weapon that I'm going to be showing in battle, let's head to the lobby. And let's go to the regular battle. And also, I didn't get to show the the uh, stages that we had that today are Moray Towers and Mahi Mahi Resort. Let's go. Alright, so we already got a couple people on the server. And one more person. Come on. Come on, make it a quick join. Come on. Come on, last person, we're waiting for you. There we go. Let's do this. Now we have both new maps. 
Our first map is... Maki Maki Resort. This is an interesting map. I believe this is our first map. Oh, wow, we got a roller. And they got a roller, too. This is our first map with the instance of water. If you go into water, you're instantly dead. There's no way you can get out of it, because Inklings are unable to swim. I don't want to demonstrate. But if I accidentally fall in water, then you'll see. Alright. Now the sub on this weapon is the Burst Bomb. You can throw two at once with how little ink it consumes. The Burst Bombs have an amazing amount of uses, and they are legendary. They are great subs to have. Whoa, okay. Hello, surprise attack. Nice. We already got two splats, and we got my special charged up. Wait, what? Yeah, you're a slosher. Let's go up here. Oh, we got, there's a roller right there. Careful. Yep, he knows I'm right there. Nice. Alright. All right, let me see if I can... Okay, that person surprise attacked before I was going to! Whoa. Alright, let's get this area filled up. And we're coming down to... And at the minute and a half, in ten seconds, we're going to see the mechanic of this map. Oh, they just fell. Water level dropping. That there means that there's going to be more turf for us to ink now, now that the water level has just dropped. I believe this is this map is our first instance of a map that has a time mechanic. There's very few maps in the game that have this. You can't hide from me. Alright. Let's ink this area. But yeah, you can see that the... Oh god. I haven't had to use my special yet. Probably will soon. Uh, wow, we are rocking them. Yeah, we are rocking them, this game. With burst bombs, they don't do much damage, but they can... They can kill enemies in two direct hits. It will need to take two direct hits and good aim and accuracy. go up here and I guess I'll use my special if I need to yeah I will all right over here this is the burst bomb rush it will grant you unlimited uses of burst bombs for a short time whoa okay ah oh, dang it it grants you unlimited amounts of burst bombs for a short time but the special does have an issue that I do want to mention. Getting too trigger happy and then accidentally using up all of your ink on your regular burst bombs when it's over. Because that just happened to me. I had an easily avoidable death happen to me because I kept using my burst bombs when it was already over and I didn't realize it. Well, we got our first victory. And we got a level up too. Now... Once we get to level 4, we're going to be able to have access to the gear shops. Which means we're going to be able to get some gear for our Inkling, which will give us some different abilities. But for now, let's do another battle. I can also probably check with Judd after this, because... I could probably show that he can give you some cash if you win a couple of battles. Because my thing up there says toasty instead of chill. Because I won a battle. So I'll probably check with Judd after this match and see what he'll give me for that. For now, I guess we're waiting for the last two people. Oh, now one last person. Now I guess I'll just play Squid Jump. Da, 
da da I kind of wonder if some that one last person's not going to join in until that 90 second timer on the top left runs out. Because if that actually runs out, if that somehow runs out, you get sent back to the lobby and have to create another server. It's kind of stupid and weird, but at least they made like at made a system where you don't have to like wait 10 years for a battle. Like, I remember people on the demo, like, recently played the demo, had to wait so long just to do, like, one ranked battle. I do like the ranked battles a lot. In Splatoon 2, I often play ranked battles more than regular battles because they're a lot more competitive. And also, they're pretty fun, too. And when is this last person going to come in? I haven't had to wait this long. You have 30 seconds left. Yeah, it looks like we're probably going to get sent back to the lobby. Yeah, 9, 8, 7, 6... Yeah, we're getting sent back to the lobby. Yep. Well, I can just go into another one. So it's fine. Hopefully it'll go a bit faster. And, oh, wow! Right into a full server. Nice. Sweet. And we got high levels, too. I'll take this challenge. Mahi Mahi Resort, again. Alright. Oh, wow, we got some people with hero gear. Let's go. Oh, my burst bomb missed. I was going to try to, like, ink that patch, but I completely missed and it went into the water. Uh, in ranked battles, if you're curious of what those are... Oh, God. Sniper. Oh, I almost got them. Let me give you an assist. Nice. I at least got them, so at least we got that. Oh, I see someone over here. Oh, out of ink. Yes! Okay. Something I do want to mention in ranked battles is that you will have to invoke on your teammates quite a bit. It's because they're really... And ranked battles are very competitive, so you will have to... Nice back attack. And, oh, Octobrush. Who else likes Octobrush? Yes. Uh, it's starting to look even. It's pretty even so far. And we're about to get the water level lowered. Uh, that sound also means that if you haven't seen the time, that sound means that the water level is about to lo be lowered. And up at the top, you can see that they're running low on the green ink in the area, which means that they're in danger. Let's just keep inking the area around me. Get that this and one minute left oh I see a charger back attack 
There he is. Yeah! Kill streak. Get this. I still have my burst my I still have my burst bomb rush if I need that. Oh, oh I saw someone. Okay. Don't want to go and squid. Oh, Kraken. Okay. You don't want to go into squid form over grates because you're just going to go through the grates and then instantly die because you're just going to go in the water. Hey, you know what? Just because I can. Bomb rush. Nice. I think we won that one too. Yep. Yeah! We got almost twice as much points as they did. Oh, we got over twice as much. That is a lot of points I got. Wow. Nice. We got almost just enough to reach level 4. Alright. Oh, before I all enough this video, I can show what Judd does if you go talk to him after you win a couple of battles. Oh, by the way, something I do want to mention, which is pretty cool, is that the seven people that you just battled with will show up near the lobby. Which, I like that. That's a pretty nice touch, how they show the people who you just battled with. I really like that. Meow, your vibe meter in the lobby measures your performance. You get flag icons for winning battles, and you lose them when you lose battles. The more icons you get, the more icons you got, the more you lose when you lose a battle. To boost your vibe, come up with a solid strategy for the current stages. The vibe meter resets when there's a news broadcast, so don't sweat it. Come see me. Come see me when you think your vibe is hot enough. Meow, your vibe is toasty. Here is a little bonus of 100 cash. Meow, don't forget to check the level shop, the weapon shop after you level up. I hear they have some pretty possum weapons. Still rocking the bad puns, Judd. Okay. Well, next time on Splatoon, we will take care of another area of Octo Valley. And then we will look at one of my most favorite type of weapons. See you guys next time.